Hi, I'm Wolf Ligo, co-founder of CAP7, and today we're going to do some dry land drills. I know a lot of people are locked out of their pools, their training pools, their community pools, and don't have access to a pool, and I'm sure that's really frustrating. Um, I know I'd be going crazy if I couldn't get into a pool right now. So first of all, everyone should have their own water polo ball. I think all the coaches always tell you that, and maybe everyone's going to practice every day and they just don't have their own ball. So now is really a time that everyone should have their own water polo ball so they can practice with it, practice their ball handling skills. There's a lot of things you can do with it. Just simply doing this, moving your wrists around is a great little drill. All right, let's get into some more drills that we can do on land. Here, we'll just start with a basic passing drill. You'll notice the player on the left dropped their elbow there and you don't want to drop your elbow as the ball comes. As soon as the ball comes, you want to keep your elbow up in a high position that would be above the water level surface and just continue passing, keeping your left foot in front, athletic stance, and then you can start throwing in some fakes and continue passing. Here we're going to do a right-left passing drill using your wrists just like we do in the pool and really building our muscle coordination on both hands. The goal is really to get your left hand in a place where in the game you can make a nice little pass with it and not feel awkward. So now moving into isolating the left hand, notice the body position, the right leg forward, and you want to just try and simulate the movement that you would do with your dominant hand. Again, trying to keep your elbow up high when on land. In this drill, the two players are facing opposite directions and doing a half backhand pass. This involves a lot of coordination and you're just working on catching that ball, bringing it back, and throwing a soft half backhand pass. You can do this against the wall if you're alone. You can do any of these drills alone also with a rebounder. When two, two kids are passing, I always like to have the ball size be of the younger player so that they can catch the ball and keep their arm in a good position. We're gonna do a drill with the one kilogram heavy training ball. Um, it doesn't have to be this ball. It can just be any sort of soft ball, throw me that ball. Just a rubbery ball, leather ball, any style ball that has about one kilogram or two pound weight. Okay, so I'm just going to go against the wall here and do this drill. Okay, so you're going to put your right knee on your board and have your left leg like this. So go ahead and try that. Yep. Then you're going to hold the ball straight above your head, not back, straight above your head. Okay, and as you throw the ball, you're going to crunch your stomach and lean with your body. Bring it hard down against the wall and then catch it as it comes back. All right, go ahead and try it. Good, get it up that high position. Don't bring it too far. If you bring it, if you have your arm too far back, you're gonna hurt your shoulder. So you need to keep your arm right here, straight in line with your body. Really flex your stomach muscles and slam it down. Good. Good. This is the best drill you can do to add power to your shot and velocity to your shooting. You're really working on the finishing motion as well as crunching your abs down, and this is going to help you develop that power shot. I like to do both arms to develop a good body balance and not overdevelop one side of the body. This is key for injury prevention. Once you get back to the pool, a lot of pools will have a Zader board or a wall at the pool facility, and you can get one of these balls and get up against the wall or up against the Zader board and really work on this in your warm ups before hopping in the pool. Okay, so with younger kids, if they're doing this drill, you wanna get a lighter ball. Okay, so I would recommend just a slightly weighted ball, maybe one pound instead of two pounds. And they're gonna do the same drill that the older kids do. All right, put your right knee on the kickboard, left leg out here, and then you're gonna put the ball up straight above your head. Yep, and not, don't ever bring it back. Keep it right here, keep your shoulders square, and as you, as you throw the ball, you're gonna snap down and go over your stomach and then catch it with two hands. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't bring it back, keep it straight up. Yep, okay. Good. Go ahead, same thing. No, 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 hold on. So the second time you brought it back, remember to keep it straight above your head. Nope, nope, straight above, like pass drill. You do this in the pool, but it's great to do on land. So instead of making a perfect pass to your partner, you're gonna get in position and then the pass is gonna be in a bad, awkward place, and you've got to stretch out, get it, and then get that ball back into perfect position. And we do this drill in the pool, but let's do it on the land. Notice the athletic stance between the players. You're in a position ready to react in any direction to get the ball. The pass should be made bad, but not too bad, so that it's at least catchable. And you'll 
work on this and be able to get it down after a few tries. This is a really fun drill that kids love to do together. Again, make sure you're using the smaller size ball for the youngest kid when doing these drills. Some ball skills just like we would in the pool. So I can just start with rolling the ball on my hand and roll it one way, then I can roll it the other way. Then I can start to put the ball over my fingertips. Then I can roll it around, mix it up. Then I can take the ball and roll it off the side of my hand and make it look like I'm actually throwing the ball and bring it back. So when you look from the front, it actually looks like a shot's coming and you're rolling it back off your hand. You can roll it off the outside of your hand or you can roll it off the inside of your hand and bring it back and then you can also roll it right over the top. Okay. really do a lot of variety on, on these drills with the ball and you can do this in your house in your living room when you're sitting on the couch you can get outside and do it here we're gonna do the half backhand pass to ourself and this is a great drill on its own or you can do it against a wall as well if you don't have a partner all right let's go inside and do some inside the house <laughs> 